departures. Rafe, let me bring you back in. I mean, this is going to be week five uh, of these pro-Palestine marches. Um, and I think that, um, you know, as much as uh, it's good to hear from, uh, from, from Ash Alexander Cooper that we shouldn't be using inflammatory language, I don't think you and I using inflammatory language is the problem here. No, well, look, we're also very clear to say that obviously not everybody on those marches is actually going there for the wrong, with the wrong intentions. Mm. But let's be clear here. Look, I respect absolutely this gentleman's decency but there's an element of naivety there that we have to call out. We need to wake up as a culture and as a society. We're actually engaged now in a clash of values and a clash of civilizations between fundamentalist Islam and its allies and things like the BLM and so forth, yeah. and between the rest of us. And we need to be alert to that and understand that as a culture and a civilization, we need to have a robust defense of our values yeah. and our principles. And that means the police actually enforcing properly how it polices these things not um, or taking a leaf out of the French and German book, for example, but we're seeing none of that in evidence today. But this is a flexing of muscle by Islamic fundamentalists. We saw it with the mass call to prayer on Whitehall. Yeah. This is a demonstration and they're daring us. Then they're being emboldened by the police's impotence because the police are petrified by political correctness and they're too scared because they don't think they're capable of handling these numbers of people. And by ignoring the calls of the police, to not to have a march on Armistice Day, by having these mass calls to pray in Whitehall, these are clear acts of blatant provocation, and we need to meet it with equal strength. That's why I hope that d decent British patriots go out to all of the war memorials across this country on Armistice Day to stand up to all this and show their support for our yeah. veterans and show their support for remembrance. And let's have no more of this calling of British patriots hooligans. Yeah. Decent people want to go out and show their support they for do. this country. Let them do it, and the media must not demonise them and mm. call them hooligans.